everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm just kind of giving you fair notice that I am going to get in my bag a bit on this um, video. Just kind of giving you fair notice. I know some people are not going to necessarily like what I have to say. And some people are going to get in their feelings. And some people just may receive it as I say it. Receive it as such. And hopefully learn something from it. And maybe we can have a discussion after the fact. But I don't know. Um, but it has everything to do with this woman right here, Cynthia Ervio, who played Harriet in the Harriet Tubman movie. It was named Harriet, right? Um, the Oscar nominations are going to be announced tomorrow, and many critics are predicting that Cynthia Ervio is going to get an Oscar nod for her portrayal as Harriet Tubman. They also predict that she may also get a nod for her original score in the movie. So she, you know, she, she sang a song, right? Now, that's important to hear because the BAFTAs, which are the British version of the Oscars, also had their nominations. And she was snubbed. She did not get one nomination. And here's the kicker. Here's the real kick in the teeth for Cynthia. They asked her to sing the song, sing her song from the Harriet movie, at the BAFTAs and she declined. She basically said, basically she got upset. She was mad. All the women of color got snubbed this year. And she basically said she ain't selling out. Okay. And she wants everybody black to basically rally around her. And I'm here to tell Cynthia Ervio, I don't give a damn. All right. I don't give a damn. And I'm laughing at you because now you want all the black folks to rally around you even though you've been trash for a while. You've been trash for a while, and I'm glad they did not nominate you. As a matter of fact, I'm hoping she doesn't get nominated tomorrow. I hope she gets snubbed from that too. Some of you guys are probably wondering, my goodness, why do you have all this energy for Cynthia Ervio? Now, Cynthia Ervio is hoping that you black Americans get amnesia or have amnesia and don't remember or hope that you've never seen any of her previous tweets or the tweets that she has tweeted over the years trashing our black American asses. That's what she's hoping so that she can get your support because she was snubbed. That's what she's hoping. But what she probably didn't count on is that a lot of us have really good memories and we know how to use Twitter and Google her old tweets, even if she tried to erase them. All right. So <clears throat> I'm going to share some of her nasty ass trashy tweets that she's tweeted over the years. So you can see why I feel the way I feel. So this is something she retweeted a while ago. She said, well, actually, no, a couple of years back. This is so wrong. Same people that will shout racism at a white man, not realizing how damaged they are themselves. It's not new that some African-Americans are jealous of Africans in the U.S. Example, the person here. And that was actually in 18. All right. Um, she also was talking back and forth to this guy. This was back in two, 2013. She said, at Joel Montague, ghetto American accent. Baby, you know I got you. I'm going to sing it to you. But I still got to do what I got to do. You feel me? You know, and I, and I feel a type of way about her saying that because she is married to a white man. So you have to wonder if she's like playing and joking around with him like that. She also tweeted this. Uh, Tayo Cruz made me proud hearing your English accent next to all that American. London Massive. So again, she's had some issues with Americans, specifically black Americans, okay? That ain't it though. That ain't it and that ain't all. Here she is again. Two models needed for shoe fashion show tomorrow. Need to be Afro-Caribbean. Anyone around. All right, now some of you guys might feel like, you know what, that's, that's not that bad. She's looking for something specific. That's innocuous. That don't really mean anything. Here's the problem with her, okay? Here's the problem with old Miss Cynthia Ervio is that she hangs out with her own girl, Lovey. And Lovey is always known to say trash-ass things about black Americans. And they're cool, and she's retweeted a lot of Lovey's trashy shit. She says, Akata is African away of calling an African-American nigger. That's a retweet. Somebody asked her question, and that's how Lovey responded. Retweeted by Cynthia Ervio, okay? Lovey has says a lot of derogatory things about black Americans. But it gets worse, y'all. It gets worse, okay? She says, I ain't gonna lie. 
I will not be encouraging my kids to go to an HBCU. It's the African elitist in me, all right? And she said other trash things, all right? If you're an, if you're an urban youth still in high school with the baby in Gucci shoes, you need your tubes forcibly tied, okay? Again, trashy things that her girl Cynthia Ervio laughed at and retweeted as well. All right, she says, Rolling in the Deep sounds like a freedom song the slaves sang after they succeeded from escaping in the Underground Railroad. I love it. All right. Um, again, some people might think, oh, that's nothing. That's nothing at all. She didn't mean anything by it. Whatever. No, no. These are all trashy ass tweets. She says, and I'm an elitist African. I am not a black nationalist. I am a pan-Africanist. Okay. These are all lovey tweets. Again, Lovey is just like Cynthia Ervio in my eyes that she ret and retweeted by Cynthia Ervio. So Lovey tweeted it and Cynthia Ervio retweeted it and also laughed at this bullshit, okay? She said, if you're 21, your mom is 36 and your granny is 50 and you got, six year and you got a six-year-old. Then she said, the government better owe me back like I owe my rent and give me my monies. I'm gonna be an urban youth and go buy gym shoes for no reason with it, LOL. Child trash 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 which is why i cannot feel the least bit sorry for cynthia ervio and the fact that she got snubbed by the white folks that she loves so very much now first things first i thought that harriet was a whack-ass movie whack okay and the reason why i find it so very whack is because it was so very whitewashed it was whitewashed you should have known that Harriet was going to suck when white people were liking it too much. White people was loving Harriet a little too much for my taste, which led me to believe that it was going to be a whack-ass movie anyway. And the fact that it was so poorly depicted, I mean, come on. Could you at least got some, some of the history right about that? The movie had a black bounty hunter as the villain. That in itself should have told you that this movie was going to be garbage, garbage, all right? And what pissed me off more than anything when I started hearing the rumblings about this movie is that Cynthia Ervio set her ass up here and clearly read the script. It was okay depicting Harriet Tubman in such a fictionalized way that it didn't bother her in the least that they were going to portray Harriet as such and portray this black American man as a bounty hunter, which again, in the history books, you know, they don't have any accounts of a, of a black bounty hunter. Not to say that there weren't any, but that this is such fictional bullshit that they actually put on the screen and white people love it. And you upset with us that it tanked. Harriet did not do that great in the movies. It did not, it didn't do well. And I'm glad that it didn't do well. And that kind of leads me to my next point here, which I do feel like maybe some people are going to feel a type of way about that. And I, I'm, I'm just kind of giving you advance notice that some of you might be offended, but please hear me out and receive it. Receive it in the way I'm trying to say it to you. Um, I personally have a, of, of a problem. I personally have a problem when I see... Uh, People of different nationalities, of black nationalities, not of African-American descent, not foundational here, portray our historical figures. I, I have a problem with it. Now, some of you guys might say, well, you know what? Acting is acting. And if it's a role and they can play it well, they should be able to play it. Now, some people might agree with that. I don't. Personally, my opinion is no, no. Surely we could have gotten a black man right here from the United States to play Martin Luther King, but they didn't do that in Selma, okay? Surely we could have gotten a black woman centered right here in the United States of America. Her descendants are from slaves from here to play Harriet Tubman. They didn't do that. <clears throat> Surely, okay, we could have gotten um, uh, 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 a black man from here to portray Fred Hampton in an upcoming uh, movie about Fred Hampton, okay? 
But they're getting Daniel Kaluuya to do it. And if you don't know who Daniel Kaluuya is, that's the man that uh, played in Queen and Slim and Get Out. Now, I don't have anything personal against any of those people that portrayed them. I don't know them personally, so I can't have anything against them. But I do have a problem with the fact that this keeps happening a lot, where British-born actors and actresses are coming over here and they're portraying the roles of some of our most beloved historical figures, and then people get upset with us that we have a problem with it. That it should just be okay and just should just be cool because actors are actors and actresses are actresses and they're just playing a part. I have an issue with that. I absolutely do. I do. And um, I don't understand why this keeps happening over and over and over again. Daniel Kaluuya, I was reading an interview where he was talking about playing Fred Hampton and how he said, well, I didn't even know who he was. He didn't even know who Fred Hampton was. Now, there probably are a lot of millennials that don't necessarily know the history of Fred Hampton. But if you probably come from my generation, the mid-40s and things like that, or you've read any of that stuff, or your parents taught that to you, you know who Fred Hampton is. All right? And the fact that it's, again, he has his, he doesn't have history rooted in being a black American and our experiences. I feel like the people that should portray these parts should have those experiences or be rooted in those experiences. Yes, of course, none of us were slaves, but our peoples, 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 our people were slaves and they endured as such. And sometimes I feel like people, black folks that come from different countries outside of the United States don't necessarily understand what it is to be a black American and understand that struggle. I've seen this. I've seen this firsthand how there is a disconnect in understanding what we deal with on a daily basis. Because let's face it, let's face it. I know some of y'all ain't gonna wanna hear this, but let's face it. Africans from different countries, because I don't wanna treat Africa like it's some like country. It's a continent with 54 countries, okay? I've seen many African immigrants from Nigeria, Ghana, Mali, all over come here and have better treatment than black Americans. And a lot of them know that. A lot of them know it. So they don't necessarily always understand our experiences. And, oh, and I've seen some people make fun of that. Now, to be clear and to be fair, and it may sound cliche, I have personal friends that I love to this day. We still are cool. We talk on the phone, all this other stuff. I have one of my closest friends is from Ghana. She was born and raised there. She came here as a teenager and we and her went to college together. And me and her have talks about this all the time. You know, we kind of go back and forth. We have our little arguments and it's just one of those things where she, even her parents, I've talked to her parents, even they have elitist attitudes toward black Americans. Some, I'm going to use the word some, because I don't think everybody is like this. Some People, some, I have to keep saying that, from African countries sometimes have an elitist attitude toward black Americans. They do. And then and, and you know, and then you have some people come over here and they they want to soak up the culture, you know, merge cultures, soak up what we have, and then also benefit from it. But then when we're like, hey, 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 can't we get one of these parts? Can we get any of these little parts? Then people have a problem with it. And I, I, I'm just, I just hate that there's such a disconnect between black Americans and Africans, you know, of different countries. I, I wish there was not, not a disconnect, but you would be lying to yourself if you didn't at least admit that there is a disconnect between black Americans and African immigrants, African from, you know, Great Britain, Africans from Nigeria, wherever it is, wherever you come from, there is a disconnect. And I wish there wasn't because at the end of the day, we're black, but we are not the same. We are not the same and we are not treated the same. I do wish that there was, that we could understand each other a little better. Just like I do think that black Americans have poorly, had a poor understanding of people in Africa as well. Um, people in Nigeria, people in Ghana, people everywhere. They've always had a 
poor understanding of them as well. We were grown, we, we grew up to uh, believe that, you know, we used to hit African booty scratcher. That was trash too. So we've had some trash ideas about uh, blacks in Africa too. All right. I, I absolutely believe that. But you have to understand about, I'm just asking some of my fellow friends and, and subscribers that are you know, from African countries to just kind of understand where we're coming from on this. All right. It's not to bash you. It's just to just understand this because here you have Cynthia Irvio who has trashed black Americans, but keep playing black Americans. She is slated to play Aretha Franklin. Now I'm not talking about Aretha Franklin in the Aretha Franklin movie that we go and see respect with Jennifer Hudson. I'm not talking about that, but she is going to play uh, Aretha Franklin in a Na National Geographic kind of series or something like that. They're going to have her portray it. And again, don't nobody have an issue with that? Considering how awful she has, some of the awful things she has said about black Americans, and yet she gets to portray one of our beloved, notable black singers. She gets to do that, even though she's been trash. Just trash. All right, and I... And like I said, I just really wish, I really wish that there was a better connection between all of us. But the truth of the matter is, blacks in general, no matter what country you're coming from, participate in some kind of tribalism, which I don't actually have a problem with. Believe it or not, I actually don't have an issue with tribalism at all. I love to see the Nigerian flag when people go up for their people. When they see one of theirs go up and they show the flag, the Ghanaian flag, um, where, wherever you're from, okay, wherever you are from, if you're from Honduras and somebody that you, that come from your country, come from your nationality, do something, you know, amazing, and you put that flag up, Jamaican, no matter what it is, I love that. But why can't black Americans have that same kind of pride? I just feel like we're the ones that, sh that get kind of, uh, roasted and people look at us crazy when we have try to have a little bit of pride about what's what's unique about being a black American. We don't get to participate in tribalism. We don't get to say, well, you hands off of Harriet Tubman. She was one of us. Hands off. No, we people look at us like, well, what? Black is black. Black is black. I wish it was, but it isn't. But we don't get to participate in that. I think we all could have a, a, a really decent conversation about why we have this disconnect between uh, Africans of different countries and black Americans. And why don't we necessarily understand each other? Obviously it's not everybody. It's not everybody, but it is a lot of that. It is a lot of it. And me going at Cynthia Irvio and, and just cause she's a trashy person actually, but me talking about, um, you know, why these, you know, these um, British born actors are playing these parts. I, you know, I think that's a valid argument to have with you guys. I think it is just like if one of our black American people went and played, you know, um, and they have, okay. Um, uh, what's his name? I can't think of his damn name. The guy that played the, um, uh, oh my God, Forrest Whitaker. Okay. He's played an African. And you ain't gonna tell me that no people had problems with that. I'm sure people had a problem with that. Don't tell me that they did not. Don't tell me that people didn't have an issue with Forrest Whitaker playing um, an African notable, dictator, whatever he played, okay? And and that would be valid. That would be valid. I could sit here and say, you know what? I can understand why you would have a, have a problem with that. They should have played, had somebody African play that, all right? I can understand that. So I'm just asking people to understand how we feel about these kind of things as well because she just did a whack ass job I, you know i think the writing was terrible on the on the uh, movie anyway and i just like i said i don't like the fact that it was so whitewashed to uh kind of make harriet this um, she was too fictional for me she was too fictional for me she was absolutely too fictional in my eyes she was and the whitewashing and the fact that white people were like oh i love this i can't wait to let my kids see and i'm just thinking this movie had to be terrible if white people loved it so very very much but cynthia Irvio is a trash person and i'm glad that she is getting her karma right now and realizing that even white people don't really 
fuck with you like that. Okay. Where, where you was trying to trash us, you just found out, ma'am, that you're no different because at the end of the day, a lot of white people, no matter who they are, they just see you as another, how did you put it? A cotta. Okay. So I'm hoping that you guys can drop down in the comments and we can truly discuss this. And how do you feel about people, British uh, born actors of African descent playing our notable figures? And do you have an issue with it? And how do you feel about this disconnect between black Americans and uh, other blacks in different countries, whether it be Africa, the Caribbean, whatever it is? I would love to have this discussion with you guys, and I hope that we can do it um, civilly. So drop down, and let's talk about it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.